Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Well, for... You're very nice. Well, uh, for Donald Trump, it has... You gotta pace yourself. For Donald Trump, it has been a rough couple of his entire presidency. <laughs> the chaos coming out of the White House yeah. is just coming at you so fast. It's, it's hard to keep track of it. You know, what happened today? Yeah, what's it? Two weeks ago, I had never heard of Anthony Scaramucci. <laughs> now, I gotta make an appointment to have the tattoo lasered off. <laughs> never mind where I'm gesturing. Never, <laughs> never mind. But uh, come with me now, uh, into the past. Try to remember what we were talking about uh, last month, okay? There is this place called Russia. <laughs> and during the presidential campaign, the president's son and guy explaining why he doesn't tip, Donald Trump Jr., <laughs> took a secret meeting with a whole bunch of Russians who all seemed to have connections to Kremlin intelligence. And when this came out, kind of shady stuff, Don Jr. released a statement saying he didn't know who he was meeting with, and they mostly talked about adoption. <laughs> Those were lies. <laughs> including the lie that he said it, because last night, we find out that President Trump dictated his son's misleading statement. <laughs> yeah. Wow. He dictated it. It's official. Donald Trump is a dictator. <laughs> Technically, 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 technically correct. Plus, that is so weak. Can you imagine? Don well, Jr. gets in trouble. He literally got his daddy to write a note for him. <laughs> <clears throat> Please excuse Don Jr. from prison. He's a good 39-year-old kid. Reportedly, <laughs> reportedly, reportedly, when the Russian meeting was revealed, the president gathered his advisors who thought Don Jr. should release a statement, one that they wanted to be truthful. <laughs> yes, they wanted, they wanted it, to be, it to be truthful, wow. which is great. So they can just plead, we'd prefer to be innocent. <laughs> But the president ignored his advisors and instead dictated a statement that was clearly a cover-up to hide their eagerness to collude with the Russian. Now, this looks bad. And is bad. But, <laughs> according to his advisors, Trump believes he is innocent and therefore does not think he is at any legal risk. And everyone knows, you can't be convicted if you're not guilty in your mind. <laughs> your Honor! Your Honor, please. If it please the court, I already ran the whole Law & Order episode in my head, and uh, I have a tearful breakdown on the stand where I confess that I'm innocent. Sam Waterston, beautiful performance. <laughs> and as bad as this looks for Trump, and it looks bad, it looks even worse for Trump's lawyer and neighbor you swear had a wife a month ago. <laughs> Jay Sekulow. Ooh. Because right after Don Jr. released his statement, Jay Sekulow went on TV to make one thing clear. The president was not involved in the drafting of the statement and did not issue the statement. It came from uh, Donald Trump Jr. This is his 39-year-old son who's, who's running the, the Trump Corporation and the Trump Organization, so they, he doesn't need to be looked over the shoulder by his father. Yes, Trump would never stand over his son's shoulder. He'd stand in front of him yelling, clam up and write what I say. <laughs> Or we're all headed to the Hooskow. <laughs> now, asked about this report, asked about this report at today's televised press briefing, White House press secretary and elementary school teacher who cries in the art supply closet, Sarah Huckabee Sanders. <laughs> oh, crap. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Sanders oh, crap. defended the president. The statement that Don Jr. issued is true. There's no inaccuracy in the statement. Okay, hold it right there. Not inaccurate and true, not the same thing. It's possible to withhold some pretty vital information. Hi, you know that smoke you're smelling? I just want to let you know that your house is on... 
Hucka Sanders added that the president had a wholesome reason for sticking his finger in this poop pie. The president weighed in as any father would based on the limited information that he had. He weighed in, offered suggestion like any father would do. Yes, like any father would. It's one of those father and son things. It's tradition, <laughs> like playing catch or going fishing or preventing your son from implicating you in treason. You just, <laughs> father, son. <laughs> You don't, want, you don't want to miss those special moments. Oh, the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon. There were Russians in the cradle, too. Three or four Russians, it was a long time ago. Just tell them I did not collude. Dad, tell them I did not collude. It gets me choked up. It gets me choked up, you know? It gets me choked up, that whole thing. Like, and as I hung up the phone, it occurred to me. <laughs> He'd really grown up just like me. <laughs>